since the very beginning of the Glitch Mob project, we've been fueled by curiosity and connection. We're seekers. We're always trying to find new and interesting ways to play our music, and more importantly, to connect with people through it, to let the music do its thing. Throughout the years, we've had to create our own instruments to play the music how we envision it. To say the least, this trip has taken many interesting twists and turns. This is the story of Blade 2.0. After touring our last record in 2014 and 2015, we decided to take some time out in the Joshua Tree Desert to recharge and discover some new creative territory. We knew we wanted to really do something that touched on a level of depth that we hadn't really done before. We didn't want to calculate because it's really the best stuff comes out in the process. And that's the point. It's the discovery in the process. It's the trying new things. It's the experimentation. We might think we want to say one thing and then at the end something else completely different comes out. Similar to all of our records, See Without Eyes is a reflection of where we're at as musicians, as brothers and as human beings. And in a day and age where everything is about hit singles and pumping out content, we still believe in the album to tell a deeper and more enriched story. Good stories have no expiration date, and that is where we have continued to put our focus. The Glitch Mob started as a DIY organization. We used to do everything ourselves. The expansion into the next level of what we do really only happens through collaboration. We've had the honor of working with people at the absolute top of their craft from Strange Loop, Martin Phillips, Nerd Maddox, and Dell and Alienware. We knew we wanted to perform our music in a more powerful way. We knew that the possibilities were out there, and that's when we got in contact with Dell. At the core of Blade 2.0, is an Alienware 15 laptop running Ableton on an i9-8950HK hexacore processor that's overclocked. This allows us to perform three albums worth of material through the Ableton samplers at a 128 buffer with no issues. The next big upgrade with Blade 2.0 was the touchscreen technology. Previously, we had used four small touchscreen devices to create the illusion of a larger meta instrument, but this time around we knew we wanted something bigger and more immersive. And when we heard about the Dell canvases, we knew this was going to be the centerpiece for Blade 2.0. One of the great things about partnering with Dell is knowing that all of the hardware is reliable and it works right out of the box. All of the gear talk to each other in a seamless way. And when we were scrambling to get Blade 2.0 ready to unveil at South by Southwest, it was just one less thing we had to worry about. And that peace of mind is priceless. I think that the partnership with Dell puts the guys in a situation where they don't need to worry as much about being on the sort of bleeding edge of what the systems can do. We all knew it was kind of a gamble at the beginning because it's not really a known thing for PCs to be on the road and travel, especially not in the music world. Dell is really awesome in the fact that they are really accessible and it's just been plug and play from the get-go. And the fact that we're using a Dell laptop with a Dell touchscreen with a kind of an all PC fitted rig has really made this a really cool project. We put so much emphasis on musical storytelling, and when we teamed up with Strange Loop, we knew we had found someone that shared a similar vision. This was an interesting project with a new record, creating full visualizations for each track, like a visual companion piece to the record, essentially. When we started envisioning this whole project, we realized it was really going to require a lot more rendering power than we had in-house. Dell really came in to save the day, because though we had the vision, we didn't really have the hardware to make that vision a reality. We also wanted to try a lot of new things. In many ways, it was an experiment, and we really couldn't have been able to find the new territory that we found without these incredible Alienware computers. Really, they're kind of the beasts that were able to bring this thing to the finish line. I still watch the videos sometimes because I'm so stoked on how it all came together, and then seeing it go into VR as well, it's added this whole other dimension to the project. I'm just super thankful that the Glitch Mob contacted us to work on it, and I feel like it was really an incredible opportunity I wouldn't trade it for the world. For 
us, music is all about taking a risk and just being ourselves. Music is a way of life. It's something that we live and breathe every single day. For us to get to come out on stage and play the music for the people, that's really what it's all about at the end of the day. Getting up on stage, playing these tunes, putting a smile on people's faces, hopefully inspiring them to do something positive in the world. Trying to be an authentic partner to these guys, to provide them with what they need on their terms, and to enable them to do what it is they want to do, that's success for me. It's not about how many tweets, likes, follows. For me, I just want to make sure that the technology is not in their way and that they can go out and do an unbelievable live show. Blade 2.0 is the culmination of a lot of hard work and love from so many incredible people. Every time we step on stage, we're grateful beyond words to have the opportunity to perform our music to the world on our own terms, to take the love that we feel when we're playing and put it right back into the music. In a time when the world feels more and more divided, we're in awe of the power of music to connect us. That's the beauty of music, is that it says things that words cannot. Mm -hmm.